This is the world's most inaccessible continent, the one continent on Earth where our camera crews had never been before. This is Antarctica. In late November, Antarctica summer, cameraman Brian Sisselman and Bill Heath led an expedition to this hostile continent in search of extreme skiing. I want Brian to tell you what it's like to ski on a mountain that's so remote, it doesn't even have a name. We're 200 miles south of King George Island on the continent of Antarctica. This is the world's coldest, highest, and driest continent. Warren has sent us exploring, searching for extreme skiing somewhere on the Antarctic continent. Shelter is the most important thing for all of us. It's scary because the temperature can be as hot as 50 degrees in the sun, and on the shady side of the tent, 15 below zero. In November, the sun goes down about 10.30 and is back up at 1.30 in the morning. So we quickly lost all track of time. This all right? Antarctica, this is all an just the name shelter. alone invokes images of adventure. Pardon? An exotic so outpost for explorers. Well, it's looking a lot better, but I, I'm not happy with it yet. You know, out, out here on the coast, there's still some fog out there. We got some high clouds. It's real hard to tell. I think it still looks a little too iffy. I don't want to head up on that mountain what until we weather, got a good. What kind of weather is it going to take, Gordon? It's going to take a perfectly blue sky day. You got to have perfectly good. Perfectly blue sky. Yeah, perfectly blue sky day. Well, you got we one cloud in the sky. I can move in in a second here. We've already seen it happen. Some of those icebergs are a hundred feet high. The penguins had never seen people, and the people had never seen penguins. Neither one of them could fly. Penguins take turns. Dad sits on the egg while Mom goes fishing. Then Mom sits on the egg while Dad goes fishing. That way, whoever sits on the egg keeps it wet and cold. Some are coming, some are going. Kevin Andrews. Out here in Antarctica, a continent that averages 7,000 vertical feet, we've got to be within reason in our own capabilities. Even though it's always fun to push your abilities because that's why you like to ski the extreme, for the excitement, the joy, the mystery. It was exciting, joyful, and mysterious for the next six days. Well, you still think we'll be laughing about these whiteouts when it comes time to go home? You know, when I first heard about Antarctica, I thought it was just going to be a vast ice field with maybe a couple rolling hills, but these mountains are some of the most beautiful mountains I've seen anywhere in the world. You know, it's amazing that uh, this day and age, there's still a place on Earth where you can go and no one else has been. Uh, being in Antarctica is, is like being in jail. I mean, you're just held up. Three hour nights blend into the next, and the next, and finally after six days of waiting, the day to climb No Name Peak arrived. It was almost clear by 3.30 in the morning and looking good. By 4.30, we set out for the summit and left our ski tracks on a completely alien and unforgiving mountain where ski tracks had never been left before.
This is only a 7,000 foot peak, but it's just as dangerous as a 25,000 foot one, because with one mistake, you can die before help can get to you and fly you out to a hospital a thousand miles away. Gordon Wilsey, our guide, and Bill and I kept telling the guys to take it easy because of the danger. But would you, if you had flown clear to Antarctica to ski on an unnamed peak and have your every move recorded forever? Heath and I have been all over the world filming for Warren, but the extreme skiing experience on this hostile continent, on an unnamed mountain with Mike Farney, Tom Day, Willie Vogel, Kevin Andrews, and Gordon Wilsey, is an emotional high that I'll have for the rest of my life. And now, Warren may be sending us to Kashmir, or China, or Mauna Kea in Hawaii next winter. And now it's time to get back to the real world. 